Well, hello everybody and welcome to Key Concepts, Conversations for Piano Teachers. Uh, this is our first and hopefully a series of many sessions where we will be connecting with local piano teachers and just chatting about topics related to uh, teaching in a fall that nobody planned or hoped for uh, during this COVID season. Uh, we'll be taking a look at resources and uh, options and ways to help elevate your studio experience. So we're definitely looking forward to that. Uh, today's session is on uh, promoting and recruiting for your studio in an online uh, way. And so we are excited to share some best practices and free resources uh, that are available. And uh, at the end, we'll circle around to some things and uh, that AMRO here can do as well, hopefully to help and be a good partner. So uh, today's session is being led by me, Ben Fondle, and our events and marketing coordinator, Emily McGee. So Emily, I'm going to mute myself and kick it over to you. All right. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us this morning. Um, I'd like to kick off our uh, session by talking to you guys um, about your online presence. So there's a lot more to um, explore in terms of opportunities for um, online for your studio besides just a website, okay? Building a website could be a little bit intimidating for some of us. And so I wanna talk with you guys about a couple of ways um, that you can start promoting your studio, uh, free resources and um, some practices for you to put into place. So the first uh, item that I'd like to talk to you guys about is Google My Business. So Google My Business is a free tool that lets you manage uh, how your business appears across Google products like Maps and Search. Um, most of you have your own studio, whether it's at your home or whether you have a different location that you teach lessons from. Um, so you can also include those types of information in your Google My Business uh, profile. That's how people are gonna find you. Um, so some of the benefits of Google My Business are that it's a free tool. It helps you um, appear more um, frequently for customers who are trying to find you. Um, and I'll give you guys an example. Um, I have Googled here, Memphis Piano Lessons. And as you can see, um, AMRO actually comes up first because we do have our adult piano lesson program. But if you click more places, um, it's going to pull up a map. And so if you're, a, if you're a parent and you're looking for somewhere to, um, for your child to take piano lessons, this, this could be a place that you would start is to just simply Google and look for for a place to start. You can see all the results that appear here. Um, so a lot of people don't know how, how do these businesses get here? Okay, does Google just, you know, automatically know where all these businesses are? No, you have to create your Google page. AMRO, we had to create our Google page and all the ones you see here do as well. Um, so one uh, example that I'd like to give is from D Piano Studio. Okay, so this is just going to show you some of the features uh, that you have access to when you create your page. Um, you can put a link to your website if you have a website. Um, you can provide directions to your studio. Um, you, you can provide the option for them to save the location of your studio for future reference and they can call you. Here they've got the address, the hours, and the phone and they even have um, a page to request an appointment. So these are all, you know, basically these are all the ways that a customer is going to want to get in touch with you, to find you, and to um, get in touch with you. So another great feature is that people can leave reviews. So again, if it's a parent looking, um, what there's a lot of choices here. Uh, what which is the best one? they can look here at these reviews and see, um, okay, D Piano Studio has a five-star rating. Um, that's going to be reviews from other parents or other people taking lessons, and that's going to give them a um, peace of mind um, as they are doing their search. 
So um, the main purpose of using Google My Business in addition to just providing that accurate information about your business and interacting with current customers is that you can attract new customers. Um, this is really important for us right now. Uh, traditional ways that we might have recruited new students before may not work now. Um, now that we have a lot more virtual learning, online learning, and um, a lot less, you know, people coming into contact with each other to get word of mouth referrals and things of that nature. So having your business represented online is crucial now more than ever. So to sign up for a Google My Business page, um, all you'll need to do is create a Gmail account. Uh, so if you don't already have one, you will need to do that. Some people do like to have um, a Gmail account just for their business page. So it could be um, Emily's Piano Studio at, at gmail.com. Okay, it doesn't have to be your personal email address. Once you have that account, then you can visit google.com slash business and sign up for a free account. The process is super simple um, and it gives you step-by-step -step instructions. So like I said, it's really simple. It's really stress-free, it's not intimidating at all, and it's ultimately um, a great way to show people like that you are a real legitimate business and basically for them to get in touch with you and say, we want to be your customer. So highly recommend a Google business account. Um, ben, did we have any questions from the Q&A box? Nothing right now, but uh, can you go back to the map briefly? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, something that stood out to me looking at that map was, of course, this is just the Memphis area. There we go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's quite a few places there, but, you know, with hundreds of teachers listed, um, in reality, I think this is kind of fertile soil here for a teacher that wants to maybe take, take the next step and dive in here. Um, there are options, but I find, you know, a lot of times people don't want to drive that much. You know, they're looking for something, uh, you know, close to their home. And I think there's a lot of opportunities here, particularly in certain parts of town uh, where, you know, we're not seeing a lot of results here. And, uh, you know, I think that this is definitely, you know, when somebody has an answer, they, you know, a question they want to know, you know, they pick up their phone and, you know, we kind of joke about it, ask the Oracle, uh, you know, somebody, hey, piano teacher near me, um, you know, this is how you get found in today's world. I think that, uh, this is definitely valuable for any teacher who, you know, wants to take their studio, you know, treat it as, you know, it is a labor of love, but it's also a business. And uh, I think this is very important. So um, a lot of opportunity here for what's not listed on this map. I think uh, some of the people that get on the bleeding edge of this um, can definitely distinguish themselves. So yeah, absolutely. thanks Emily. That was all right yeah, now. Good points. So, um, and just so you guys know, we will be posting all the links that we're mentioning today. Those will all be posted on our website later. So you'll have no, no need to rush and try to take notes. Um, you'll have access to all of this later. Um, so the next uh, concept that I wanna talk to you guys about is the Facebook business page. Uh, Facebook business is very, very similar to Google My Business in terms of setup. Um, it's simple, it's free, it's just a way to connect with your customers and you can also use it to um, advertise if you choose to do so. Um, one of the main differences between a Google business page and a Facebook business page is that Google is more like clean cut, cut and dried, simple, People are getting on there to find information um, and get straight to the point. Facebook is a little more about the longer term connection, um, a more long and just um, genuine connection that you can make with current customers and potential customers. So just so you can kind of see the difference. They, they do a lot of the same things, but they also both offer um, unique benefits um, from each other as well. So again, like I said, um, with the Facebook business page, it's going to um, give you a chance to put your business information, 
just like on Google. So your hours, your address, your phone number. And for some of you guys who may teach from your home, you may not want to advertise your home address. That's totally fine. You don't have to put that there. You can simply put um, Cordova, Tennessee or um, Memphis, Tennessee, South Haven, Mississippi. Um, and then later, once you have maybe communicated a little more deeply with a customer, potential customer, then you can send them your address on a one-on-one -on -one basis uh, when they get to that point of taking lessons. Um, the other thing that you can do with your Facebook business page is posting. So this is again an opportunity to demonstrate more of the long-term story um, going on with your studio. So you can post pictures of recitals, different events. Um, you can post a picture of an online lesson. Um, you can post a picture um, of your piano, anything to kind of engage your customers and um, get them excited about what you're doing with your business. Um, another tool is messaging. So again, if a customer, potential customer is looking at your page, they can ask you a question and they can ask you, you know, do you have availability on Thursday nights at six? You can say, yes, I do, no, I don't. So again, it's just another way for people to get in touch with you. Um, Facebook also includes a lot of free page tools. Um, so you can create appointments through there, events, um, all kinds of things. You could even post a job if you were uh, wanting to hire another teacher to work alongside you. So there's a lot of cool tools that you can use with your Facebook business page. And then the insights section um, is essentially where you can take a look at who is interested in your product or service. You can see, is it more men or is it more women? What age are they? What part of town do they live in? You can kind of start to analyze some of those pieces of data and see which ones are going to be the most helpful um, when recruiting new customers. So I'm going to again show you guys another example. Um, I know on the first one I showed you the piano studio for Google and they also have a really great Facebook page. So I'm going to show you their page too. So you go in here, D Piano Studio. Um, they have this really cool cover video at the top. Um, they have their logo as their profile picture. They even have these pre-done questions um, that you can just, a customer can quickly click ask and that will send them a private message. Um, here is a post that they made recently about the precautions they're taking in their studio to help um, prevent COVID-19. And if you're wondering how they come up with such a cool graphic, I'm going to show you guys in a little bit and a tool that you can use to create things like this for your studio. Uh, here they have their address, phone number, their website. You can also categorize your business on Facebook. So if someone's searching um, for music lessons and instructions or piano lessons, then this is going to help them be discovered in those search results because they've categorized their business. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, they're, they've done a lot here. And again, all of this is totally free to you um, as a business owner. You do not have to pay anything to have a Facebook business page or a Google business page. Ben, did you have anything you wanted to add about Facebook? Yeah, you know, a couple thoughts. I think, uh, Emily, you've done a great job distinguishing that. I know a lot of people, um, at least, you know, even even me, I feel like, okay, what's, you know, maybe the point or the difference of the two different platforms? Yeah, I think Facebook is great for what, you know, we would call word of mouth because um, it's all about sharing stories and connecting with people. So when you show off, you know, what your students are doing or, you know, here's our recital and things like that, you know, and, and your families, your current customers, you know, start um, engaging and sharing and liking that and commenting on those posts. All of a sudden, everybody in their network starts to see those posts. And so that is how you get found by people who maybe just have a general awareness or you know, like, wow, that looks like fun. So it's, Facebook's a great place to plant the seeds, um, you know, for, 
future students and future business later. I think, you know, Google is, hey, I'm ready. I want to do it right now. And Facebook is, hey, that looks like a lot of fun. I'd like to learn more about that or I want to watch and just see, you know, what they're doing. Um, you know, probably just you think about the way you use Facebook yourself. You like to scroll and see pictures of fam family and friends. And, and when, when, when your families families can see them and see how much they're loving piano you know that's how people know recommendation you know even if it's not for themselves when they hear somebody say hey i've been thinking about getting my child in piano you can say oh let me tell you about this teacher i see on facebook it, it looks like they have a blast so um i think it's really powerful i think i think both are really good tools for um for for a studio that's really trying to branch out and, and kind of brand itself so yeah, absolutely um yeah, and that's a really good point, Ben. I know like with our Facebook page for AMRO, the posts that always get the most um, views and just the most interactions in general involve people, families, um, experiences that you know students are having in our store or other customers. And I think that's just really important because those are the types of memories they wanna share with their followers. And so again, uh, like Ben said, if you have um, all of your current students, say, following your page, then you share something, all of a sudden they share it, and then it's just exponentially growing in terms of how many people can see it, and you haven't had to pay um, anything to do that. So it's very powerful stuff. So the last thing I wanted to um, show you guys before we transition over to Ben is um, Canva. I don't know how many of you guys um, have ever heard of Canva, but it's really cool because what it does is it's a free program where you can essentially um, design things, marketing pieces, if you will. So um, for example, you can create your logo if you don't have a logo for your studio. You can use it to create social media posts, flyers, brochures, business cards. Um, in fact, the presentation I'm currently using was created on Canva. Um, it's really, really important when you're working on building your online presence to um, be portrayed as a legitimate business. And so part of that is having a logo or a brand um, that you can portray to potential customers. And so using a tool like Canva just really helps bring all that cohesion together. And it's super easy. It's super user friendly. You can get a lot done with the free account. They do have a pro account option for $9.95 a month. Um, we use the pro account version at AMRO and I, I highly recommend it if you have the budget to do that because you can do even more stuff with it. But if you're just getting started, um, definitely the free account um, can get a lot of those goals accomplished for you. So yeah, that's just, that's canva.com. So it's like the word canvas, but with no S. Um, highly recommend. And again, that's just going to tie into everything with the Google page and the Facebook page. You can um, create a logo to display in both of those areas. And that's just going to help everything look really clean, really polished and professional and um, yeah, just kind of sets you apart from the competition if you have something that looks uh, really nice and professional. So yeah, I hope you guys are able to use some of those tools. That is all I have, Ben. Well, great job, Emily. Thank you for sharing some really cool tools. Um, my only um, endorsement of Canva will be that my presentation was not created in Canva. And uh, I think you'll see the difference. Uh, so um, thanks, Emily, for your expertise in those areas. I'm going to switch over here and share my screen now. Are we all in love with Zoom calls. So uh, I want to focus briefly on some uh, ways that AMRO can um, add to what you're doing. You know, we hope that what we're doing adds real value. Um, we're really proud that for AMRO, um, you know, we don't answer it to anybody but our customers. You know, we are locally owned, fourth generation family owned business. Um, and so that's important to us. We're proud of that and it gives us a lot of flexibility to try things that maybe, you know, 
other businesses might not try and to go out on a limb, see what works, what doesn't. Um, but you know, we also are proud to work with some of the finest um, instrument manufacturers in the world across every instrument we carry. And uh, you know, with those affiliations comes a lot of resources that we wouldn't, you know, as a family owned business have access to. So, um, you know, I, I think I'm proud of the tools that I'm gonna show you today. And I, and I hope, and I do believe actually, you know, that um, as an independent business owner, some of these can help you. So let's dive right in. Um, you know, I had, let's see, let's get this to work here. Uh, you know, going into kind of thinking through what this fall would look like, you know, I know nobody planned on six months of teaching online. I want to say just, we've been really impressed and proud by uh, what we've seen with the piano teaching community. And I think a lot of folks have gotten up every day and just said, oh, another day of this, when's this going to end? Uh, but I haven't really seen that with many piano teachers. I think I've seen uh, there's a lot of creativity and a lot of people um, branching out in, into areas they were previously uncomfortable with. So let's talk about what AMRO uh, can bring to the table for you here. So we're going to cover a few topics here in my section of our presentation. Um, one is that in addition to everything that you're going to be doing on Google and setting up your business page on Facebook, uh, we also can su help supplement that with a listing of your studio uh, on Steinway.com. So Steinway has made it available to dealers um, a resource for piano teachers. And they've said, all we ask is that you just simply help them get uh, started and help them use the tool. Steinway is actually paying for advertising for this tool on another search engine that's very popular. Some of you may use it, Bing. Um, and they're actually paying money to, for when people are saying, I need a piano teacher near me to send people to these listings. There's no charge to you as a teacher. It's totally free and it's very powerful. You know, we're going to uh, do our best every time we get a referral to get those students um, geared, connected with a teacher um, that's gonna be best equipped to help them. We're working really hard to put together performance opportunities for your students for this fall. I know there's a lot of questions right now as far as um, you know, when will students be able to have recitals and perform. We're gonna be providing some of those here because we believe so much in the power of, of your child uh, having performance opportunities. We are gonna be doing a fall keyboard festival. You know, This spring, uh, we held an online festival and it was for the fun of it and just to make sure students had a chance to show off what they'd been doing. Well, this fall, we're gonna do that. We're gonna take it to the next level though and actually provide feedback. Our typical panel of judges, very high qualified judges um, for our keyboard festivals have agreed to uh, judge video submissions. So we're going to be doing this um, via YouTube where students are going to upload or record and upload on their own uh, with their family a performance and it's going to get routed to a judge and that judge is actually going to give true real feedback um, that you know our, our goal with Keyboard Festival has always been that your students leave more motivated to continue playing the piano than before the festival. And they get great feedback and it reinforces what you've been saying to them. So we're gonna be having a great keyboard festival, more information on that in a couple weeks. And we're also gonna be facilitating as many online recitals as we can for the fall and winter season. So if you're not sure about all the details, if you wanna just continue to focus on the teaching and the art of teaching, we are happy to help pick up some of the details with making sure that your students can show off for each other in a safe way um, and not just safe health wise, but just digitally in, a, in an online world in a safe way that's secure and uh, you know, that's restricted to your studio. And professional development. Like I said, uh, we're excited. We've got eight of these sessions already planned out and hoping from your feedback to generate the next um, uh, ongoing topics. And we hope you know, that you find this valuable and helpful. So let's dive forward. Let's look at this uh, Steinway's online teaching directory. So this is a screenshot from Steinway.com. Uh, if you go to their page and you click on education, they have a find a teacher. And uh, let's take a look at a studio. In fact, we're gonna take a look at D Piano Studio again. They're also listed on this platform. And I, I think you know, the message is, that we're sending here is just that you know, one platform may have really good tools, but what's better is to take the time and set it up and be everywhere. Once you get it past the, you know, the initial 20 minutes at home of setting it up, the system can work for yourself. So let's switch over there uh, and see where we are at. Let me get out of here. Uh, let's see, whoops, I thought I had it pulled up. Thought I had that pulled up, so sorry. 
All right. So here we are. This is on teacher.steinway.com where you get directed to. And this is the home page for D Piano Studio. Now, you can see here on the right side, um, they've got their phone number. And through the website, somebody who's interested in learning to play the piano can actually even just click and send an email directly to the teacher. They've got social media uh, links. And over here on the left, you can even add bad, uh, your own badges. So for example, this uh, studio says, hey, I teach online. Every day we get uh, requests for teachers and we get specific requests. Hey, I'm looking for someone that is going to teach online or I'm looking for someone that's teaching face to face. So you can actually customize this, you know, with anything you want it to say. Now there's a blurb on a map here, two convenient locations in Cordova and Germantown. So that's helpful. Again, people want to know, Hey, where, where do I need to go if I'm going to go or where does this teacher teach? And you can write a nice blurb about the studio and look, here's qualifications um, and even pictures and a video of the studio. So somebody who's never um, you know, seen the studio before is gonna have a very good introduction and, and first impressions still matter. Over here, here's that social media, some Facebook um, posts, you know, the most recent Facebook page, so you post, you can see what's happening. And I love that uh, you know, this kind of widget here includes, uh, you know, if you're logged into Facebook and you're on this site, it's going to automatically, um, you know, look and say, hey, look, you've got one friend who also likes this studio. Again, word of mouth. Um, if I'm not familiar with the piano studio, I'm going to click and see, hey, you know, which of my friends, um, you know, is familiar with this. And I'm going to pick up the phone or I'm going to send an email or text message and check in with Emily and say, hey, what do you know about the piano studio? I was thinking about putting my child in lessons there. This is a powerful tool. And uh, I think if we use it down here at the bottom, we've got contact information. I think if we use this, um, you know, we are really setting your studio up to really just grow organically without a lot of additional work. You know, you're always going to be able to send a link to this um, when you have students reaching out. You say, hey, here's some information about my studio. Let me know if you think you're interested. So really powerful tool. Again, no charge. Kind of like uh, the map that we were looking at earlier. Let's take a look at Memphis, Tennessee. I think there's some fertile ground to be had to, to be sown here. When we search specifically for the Memphis area, there are two piano teachers that show up. I think any teacher who wants to take advantage of this tool um, early on is going to have kind of the uh, the advantage here. I think you can uh, definitely see you know there's a lot of opportunity. This is a free tool. If you're interested, all you have to do is just reach out to me or any other of our team members here at the store and we'll get your request routed and get you set up and, and help walk through the process. Let's go back here. So that's the Steinway teacher directory. Um, you know, very powerful tool. Again, no charge to a teacher. There's no reason why not to do it. And I think, uh, you know, the other unspoken message that being listed there sends is just the affiliation, you know, as a teacher and a professional with Steinway. People that don't know anything about the piano know that name and understand the quality. And so to align your studio with that, I believe is a, is a positive message that's gonna do nothing but help your studio. All right, what else is available? Referrals, you know, one of the things I like to do at the end of every year, and when I say year, our accounting year runs from July 1st to June 30th. I like to kind of go back and total up how many documented requests for piano teachers. Now that means some have fallen through the cracks and we haven't made a note in our system. Um, this last accounting year, uh, we followed the school calendar. We had almost 450 requests for piano teachers. That's huge. To me, that says there's never been a better time to be a piano teacher um, because more you, know, you have so many people who are interested. And that's just the ones that reached out to us. If we can, you know, having your uh, Google profile and Facebook and your Steinway teacher directory, uh, you know, you're going to get a piece of that pie as well. So. Help us help you. Please update your profile. Are you teaching online? If you're teaching face-to-face, -face, as I said, we get people in the store that call in every day that want to know, hey, I want a teacher that can come to the house or hey, we're comfortable um, going face-to-face. -face. So it's good for us to have current information. You know, if, if the information we have is a year old, the world has changed and uh, it'd be helpful to kind of know those things. I think the other thing that's helpful is let us know where you're at. Do you need students? You know, we can try to prioritize more students to you if, if your enrollment is down. Or are you full? Do you have a waiting list? It's helpful for us to know that because we want to make good referrals. We don't want to frustrate parents that are looking for a teacher and we give out three names and everybody's full. So um, please, please, please just 
stay in communication, let us know how we can help. Referrals, you know, here's something we ask. All we ask is please recommend us to your students. Um, you know, and, and please, you know, be aware of the brands we carry. I love the opportunity as would anybody here to help understand why the pianos we carry are the best value for a beginner or an advanced player. You know, obviously we carry Steinle pianos, but Boston and Essex and Baldwin and Henry Miller truly believe that the options we have here are the best in the industry to uh, help your students succeed and reach their goals and hopefully to help you as a teacher reach your goals. So if you'd like to more, know more about those, please let me know. Now here's a new service that we've come up with the, for this year. We had a teacher just reach out and said, hey, I wanna create a video uh, to promote my studio. Can you help me? We thought about it, we said, sure, why not? So we went out to her studio and captured a video. Actually, we captured almost an hour of video of her playing and she's got a pretty unique story. And so we recorded that and came up with about a 10 minute video and we're working to pare it down. Um, where she's introducing herself to prospective students. What a powerful tool. I, I think, you know, as professionals, most of us like to read, but the internet and the world today watch video. And so I think an important part of all of your presence, your Google and Facebook and anywhere else that you are online should be videos and stories because that's what resonates with people. They want, people want to do business with somebody that they know and that they feel like they could relate to. And so when you tell the story of why you love the piano and what inspires you about working with children, I think that, uh, you know, that's a very powerful tool. Uh, and so, you know, hey, we're proud that that's a service. If you're interested in creating a, a video for your studio, reach out. There's no charge for this. You know, we are partners in this together. So that's something we're really excited to do. Let's see. All right. Um, how can we help you? Well, of course, I want you to know that if you need any um, literature for your students, if you want information about our rental program, if you don't know how that works, if you want rental coupons for discounts on the first couple, first month rental, um, please reach out. We're happy to personally bring that out to your studio. Um, and of course, we offer preferred, for preferred pricing, excuse me, um, for you and your students on, on any of their purchases. Uh, you know, we're committed to supporting music education. That was our roots. We started as a piano teaching studio. And, uh, you know, that's just, that's how the company has been here almost 100 years. And so we're looking for great partners that we can work together with. So more music makers is good for everyone. So, uh, you know, please help us help your students. The culmination of both of the topics we've been talking about is just that um, we're here for you. We're here to support you guys in any way we can. And, um, you know, if you if you need help figuring out how to set up your Google page or your Facebook page, give me a call, send me an email, I'll be happy to help you. We want to do what we can to support you guys, especially during this time. That's great. This is key concepts. This is going to be hopefully a weekly series. You know, we'd like to know some feedback from you guys as far as is there a better date and better time of the day. Um, you know, that would work for these sessions. We're gonna be bringing in some guest, uh, guest uh, voices to join us here. Um, over the next three weeks, we're excited. Next week, we're hoping to cover considerations for reopening your studio. So we're gonna be taking a look at, we know that some of you guys are online and that's great. And we also have heard from a lot of teachers that are saying, hey, I'm teaching face-to-face -face or I want to. And so we're gonna take a look at some things that you can do to help mitigate some of the risk. So of course, you know, things like the hand washing and how to clean a piano, but just some other topics as well. And we'd really value the feedback of what you all are doing, what's working um, to help us publish something to the broader piano teaching community. So that's next, uh, next week. The week after, we're gonna be revisiting our webinar from the spring with some of our original panelists. Lessons learned. So after five and six months of teaching almost exclusively online, what have we learned from our early, um, you know, some of our, hey, we're just figuring this out, um, you know, have we dug deeper with technology? And that's gonna set us up well for the following week, the week of September 17th. Uh, we're gonna have George Latourst from a company called Time Warp Tech. They write several wonderful software programs, one of them being Internet MIDI. That's a really cool piece of software that for those of you with advanced students, I think may be a powerful tool. So instead of dealing with all the audio challenges of Zoom or FaceTime and Skype and things like that, where you can't tell what's going on, uh, we can take two MIDI connected instruments, two digital pianos, a player grand, and we can actually have them talk to each other 
with video chat going so you can see what your student is playing and when I play my piano you hear it on the piano in your room and when you play yours to demonstrate something to me your student my piano plays so it's a really really powerful and very affordable um, tool and they, that's just one of what that company puts out so we're looking forward to some great topics and certainly appreciate your time if you have questions or feedback please um, send it to us let us know what we can do to help and we are just so appreciative of your time to take uh, to watch this session and interact with us so thanks so much emily great job thank you thank you thanks guys for coming all right bye-bye everybody